Are you a garage sale or a flea market person? If so, do you go looking for bargains or for treasure? Or maybe a little of both? As I've gotten older, I don't bargain shop like I used to. Probably because my father is no longer with us. He was the master of bargain shopping. So much so that my brother used to call him Captain Red Tag. But for years, my days off were filled with bargain hunting expeditions. One of my favorite finds came at a flea market where I found this old metal Coca-Cola tray with pictures of the legendary coaches of many of the greatest Iron Bowl football games between Alabama and Auburn when I was a kid. Now, the coaches that are portrayed on here are Alabama's Paul Bear Bryant and Auburn's Ralph Shug Jordan both of whom have been honored by placing their names in their respective stadiums that they coached in. Brian Denny Stadium at the University of Alabama and Jordan Hare Stadium at Auburn University. This is a find that I treasure. I think I found it for $2 at a flea market and I found out later that these were given away. They were commemorative editions that were made for the final game between the two coaches that was held back on November 29th, 1975. So I thought this was a really, really cool find. Now, obviously somebody didn't care much about it because they were willing to sell it for $2. But to me, that's a collectible, uh, as someone who loves the history of college football. And so to me, that was finding a treasure. Obviously a lot of people passed over it, but I knew its value. Now, to the untrained eye, much of the stuff that we find at a garage sale or at a flea market looks frankly just like rubbish. It may even have been gathering dust and or mildew up in someone's attic, but the trained eye sees treasure in disguise. Items that just need to be cleaned, polished, restored, or in this case just recognized in order to become valuable again. And that's what God does with us. When Satan tells us that we are worthless, God looks inside us and sees hidden treasure. And he knows it is in there because he created us in our mother's womb. When we make Jesus the Lord of our life, he enables us to overcome our past, to resist temptation, to conquer bad habits, to rise above our self-imposed limitations, and to realize that in the eyes of our Creator, we have great worth. Pastor Sam Alberry writes, It's actually worth saying something of God's unique creative capabilities in how each of us has been made. We should not take our existence for granted. We should not take one another's existence for granted. The human body is not just a human body. It is an extraordinary work of art by the God of all creation. It's a unique work of art. However we might be tempted to see ourselves, God actually sees us in a very different kind of way. He sees us as his own. We matter to the God of the universe. Now the story is told of a man who went to visit a psychiatrist. And the doctor said to him, I've diagnosed your problem. It's low self-esteem and it's very common among losers. Now some may smile hearing this, others like me may cringe. But the truth is, when you keep putting yourself down, you tend to gravitate toward people who do the same. But when you begin to realize the value that God places on you, your entire outlook changes. With God, we can't lose. Even when we stumble, God is there to help us back up to become stronger and wiser, and to move on to victory. When we see ourselves only as people who make mistakes and fall short, we're looking in the wrong mirror. Once we start seeing ourselves in the mirror of God's Word, we see someone who is being transformed day by day into the likeness of Jesus, as it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, 
who is the Spirit. God sees us as a valuable masterpiece. Being transformed into the image of Jesus himself as we grow closer and closer to him. That's the process of sanctification, being set apart for God's special purposes in this world. So enjoy your treasure hunting trips. But remember, you are a treasure. Now that we know who the teams are for this year's Super Bowl, it's time to start gathering your food items and your dollar bills for this year's Super Bowl of Caring. Beginning this Sunday, or beginning next Sunday, this coming Sunday, and again on Super Bowl Sunday, we will have containers out on Main Street to collect canned goods and cash to help our neighbors through the food distribution program at Our Lady of Good Counsel. The need in our community continues to rise each and every year. And earlier this month, I learned that there are more than 250,000 people in Northeast Florida alone who are living in food insecurity. They need our help. So please be generous and vote for your pick to win this year's big game. And remember, with your donations, everyone wins. And if you happen to live outside of St. John's County, you can find out how you can participate in the Super Bowl of Caring wherever you might be. And you can find that information at tacklehunger.org. Have a great week and look for me again this Friday when we share another word for you today.